What's up guys, Dull Matter here, and today we are going to be reacting to another Grim Dark narrator video. So these are obviously the Warhammer 40k lore Space Marine chapters. Uh, this one is the Carmine Blades, who I have not heard of. So this is going to be entirely new to me, and I'm excited to see where we go with this. So link to the original below, and yeah, let's jump into it. Carmine Blades Company. Markings differ from those outlined by the Codex Studies in utilizing symbols on the right shoulder plate instead of different colored trim and numbers. Only in special cases does the chapter badge not appear on the left shoulder plate. Hello there, my friendly battle brothers, and welcome. <laughs> I know I say this every time, but I cannot get over how he sounds. Like that uh, Japanese physicist guy. Really identical voice to him. Welcome to another video where I talk about somewhat lesser known chap- I'm pretty sure this is like his secret like pastime and this is his like secret account that he doesn't tell anyone about. Has, has there been a uh, Grim Dark Narrator face reveal? Because I'm like 90% sure it's the Japanese physicist guy. Chapters of the Adeptus Astartes. I'm also very glad to inform you, at least those of you who enjoyed these Space Marine videos, that I will be making this series a regular weekly thing, and I will do my best to upload one episode every Saturday. So, at least for the near future, you will be getting one obscure Space Marine chapter every week. In today's episode, we like will be talking about some series. of the Blood Angel's successors named the Carmine Blades. That makes sense. Now, there wasn't a lot of lore available on these guys, but they do have a couple of interesting quirks, which I found worthy enough to make a video about them. I am your usual host, the Grim Dark Narrator, and without further ado, let us learn more about the Carmine Blades, shall we? The Carmine Blades is a loyalist Space Marine successor chapter of the Blood Angels, created during an unknown founding. Hailing from the feral world of Haldroth, the chapter was originally named the Swords of Haldroth. Indeed, the Carmine Blades is a chapter that passed, perhaps accidentally, as descendants of the Ultramarines Legion for a very long time. All this changed when a chance meeting with High Chaplain Astaroth the Grim of the actual Blood Angels revealed the truth about its origins. It is unclear. Wait, so did they not know? They didn't know their own origins? That's interesting. Here, whether this whole mess came about as an error within the administratum, or as an intentional ruse put in place by the chapter's leaders in ages past. The Carmine Blades at last had an answer for the strange symptoms that they had worked so hard to conceal from those around them. They now had a name for the Red First and the Black Rage that they had hitherto been unable to explain. Created as they were in the Blood Angel's gene seed, these genetic flaws inherited from Sanguinius greatly afflicted the Carmine Blades, like many of the Blood Angel's contemporary successor chapters founded in later centuries. Renamed into the Carmine Blades, these successors have accepted the Blood Angel's traditions only grudgingly. Their newly formed order of sanguinary priests still struggles to curb the worst excesses of the chapter's inherited warrior culture. Ritual scarification and the flaying of captured foes are still widespread problems. I'm guessing, is that from them being from a, like a tribal world or whatever they're called? Because um, that would not be from the Ultramarines. Still, despite these barbaric practices, the Carmine Blades have proved resilient and resourceful. The Red First and Black Rage, in case you don't know, are two symptoms, or illnesses, I guess you can call them, that only affect chapters descended from the Blood Angels or any son of the Primarch Sanguinius. They pretty much manifest by turning the afflicted Space Marine both mad and into a frenzied berserker. A couple of notable campaigns that these guys took part in are as follows. The Devastation of Baal at the end of the 41st millennium. During the Devastation of Baal, the Carmine Blades were among the successor chapters that answered Lord Commander Dante's call for aid, sending eight companies to reinforce the Blood Angels. I like what the enemy is During long. the defense of Baal from High Fleet Leviathan of the Tyranids, 
they were charged with protecting the astropathic choir on the moon of Baal Secundus. The Carmine Blades suffered heavy losses during the siege by the Great Devourer, losing their chapter master Khan and many company officers as well. By the end of this campaign, only 157 Astartes of the original 800 committed to Baal remained alive. The Golden Host Elements of the Blood Angels and the Carmine Blades joined the crusade to reclaim the Dormit system from the grip of the Black Legion. While the Carmine Blades' Reaver squads excelled in the vicious Shadow War on Hedoff and the charge of the Def Company and Talarn 44th Armored carried victory on Zongal, a Black Legion counterattack on the feudal world of Tidor threatened to see the Blood Angels overwhelmed. As Dante and Astaroth fought back to back amid the Sanguinary Guard, a golden figure plunged from the heavens to join the fight. The Sanguinor had come. Led by this trio of heroes, the Blood Angels hurled back their attackers, driving. Wait, what is the Sanguinor? Is that like a apparition of Sanguinius? Driving the last of the heretic Astartes over the cliffs of Fellhaven into the darkness below. The Sanguinor, again, in case you didn't know, is a mysterious entity that only appears in the moment of greatest need of the Blood Angels or other chapters descended from them. In fact, okay, so I it's might even be make a separate video on him, or it, someday. A couple of notable Carmine Blades include Chapter Master Hajin. This guy is the current Chapter Master of the Carmine Blades, having been chosen to succeed his predecessor, Khan, after the latter's death during the devastation of Baal. Chapter Master Khan Khan was, obviously, the Chapter Master of the Carmine Blades prior to the devastation of Baal. Owing to the recent reunion with their parent chapter, there were many within the Carmine Blades that did not want to send aid to Baal when Dante's call came. Khan, however, called for a vote on the matter, which resulted in Khan leading Those a full really cool. 800 of his battle brothers to Baal to lend their strength to their... I love seeing people's art, like the artwork they do and the painting jobs they do on these when they do them really well. It looks so nice. Parent chapter. Chapter Master Khan was, unfortunately, among the very first Carmine Blades to fall to the Tyranids during the defense of Baal Secundus. The power armor of this chapter is painted carnelian red with a white bone helmet and white trim on the autoreactive shoulder guards. An interesting and unique thing about this chapter is that their company markings differ from those outlined by the Codex Astartes. This is done by utilizing symbols on the right shoulder plate instead of different colored trim and numbers. Only in special cases does the chapter badge not appear on the left shoulder plate. The following is a list of how each company represents itself. The first company, the veterans, a white skull over red background on the right shoulder plate. On Terminator armor, the left shoulder plate shows the first company's specific heraldry. The right shoulder guard displays the chapter badge in black and yellow for sergeants. The second battle company, a single yellow blood drop. The third battle company, a single white blood drop. The fourth battle company, a single green blood drop. The fifth battle company, a single black blood drop. The sixth reserve tactical company, twin yellow blood drops side by side. The seventh reserve tactical company. It's kind of weird that they give like two blood drops to the ones that would be, I would assume, further down in rank, right? I'm not exactly sure how they rank these, but... Twin white blood drops side by side. The eighth reserve assault company. Twin green blood drops side by side. The ninth Reserve Devastator Company. Twin black blood drops side by side. The tenth company, the Scout Marines. These guys wear a black skull on the right shoulder plate and a chapter badge on the left. Once more, unlike other chapters of the Adeptus Astartes, the Carmine Blades squad markings comprise a single symbol worn on the right knee plate of their power armor. Flag. The first squad, a white skull on a black background. The second squad, a white skull on a blue background. 
the third squad a red blood drop on a yellow background, the fourth squad a red blood drop on a black background, the fifth squad a white X on a black background, the sixth squad the a white flag. X on a blue background, the seventh squad a yellow lightning bolt on a black background, the eighth squad a black lightning bolt on a yellow background, the ninth squad a yellow angelic wing on a black background, and the tenth squad a black angelic wing on a yellow background. The Carmine Blades chapter badge is a large white skull, the top removed, which represents a blood chalice. Three large drops of blood are centered above the skull. Presented to the Blood Angels long ago by its Primarch Sanguinius, the first blood chalices were said to have contained the very essence of the Primarch. Lost through war and catastrophe over the millennia, the very essence, uh, the, did he just like cut himself and bleed into it? Only a handful of blood chalices now remain, and they are only entrusted to the most faithful and deserving members of a chapter. The use of such a potent symbol is appropriate, and more than likely represents that the Carmine Blades also contain the very essence of their fallen Primarch. And this, my friends, was what I wanted to tell you about the Carmine Blades chapter of Astartes. Did you find these guys interesting? Let me know in the comments below. See, uh, that's, um... The chalice thing is kind of interesting. I didn't know about that. I wonder, like, what do they mean by his essence? Was that, like, his blood? I would assume that means his blood. Kind of, like, leans into the whole, like, semi-vampiric thing. Um, they, they kind of have, like, this, like, good guy, vampire slash angel vibe to them. Um, but, yeah, that, that's really... I, I like this guy's videos. And, again, I am, like, 90% sure he's that Japanese physicist. But anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you the next one. I don't even know what the next one is. There's like 200 videos in this series, and we'll get to them all eventually. You know, it may take us like five years, but whatever.